Katie Sanders, Career Coach for Creative Types, and today we're talking about why you need your own definition of career. So during a workshop a few weeks ago with a very varied group of women, a question came up of wanting to transition careers and wanting something different, but not knowing what that even looks like. There was general agreement among the group that none of them really knew what that would look like for them, which is why they'd come to the workshop. But the question had been posed by a woman who had already a really non-traditional career in a creative field, and it was definitely not, you know, a nine to five corporate job. She was thinking of changing her career for the future, but again, she didn't know what that looked like for her at all. So I told her and, you know, the rest of the group, the same thing that I tell all my one-on-one clients, you have to start with two foundational questions before you can make any of the decisions for your future about your career. Before you genuinely can move forward, you need to, number one, define career. You need to know what you even mean by career. Does it mean starting a business? Does it mean that you work a corporate nine to five? Does it mean you work three part-time temp jobs? Does it mean you work nights at a job you don't love so that you can volunteer all day long? The idea that career solely exists within the Monday through Friday, nine to five corporate container is wrong. Many, many people have careers that look nothing like that. And somehow those are generally seen as either a stepping stone to the corporate world or they are seen as an anomaly an outsider, for example, anything really in the service and hospitality industry. But what we're seeing in our current climate is mass dissatisfaction with how corporations and large companies have handled the last two years of our lives. And many people have come to the realization that there are other ways to do things. There are other models. There are other ways to be who you want to be. So in order for you to be content, for you to be happy, for you to be someone who enjoys what they do and how they do it, you have to define what that is first. You need to be able to say, my definition of career is, and then fill in the blank. Now that isn't the only question you need to answer. Number two, after you've got your definition of what career is for you, you need to know what does success look like for you when that career, however you define it, is part of your life. So scrap everything that came before, throw your to-do list out the window and start fresh. You can and should give yourself a fresh start here. Take a look at your values and priorities. How will you define success for yourself? Success for you, not based on societal pressures, not based on what you were working towards before, not what you had thought you were supposed to be doing, but what would success look like for you Now, you wanna write down that answer. You wanna write down what success looks like for you now and write down why it's different and why that difference is important. Then write down in your journal or your notes app on a post-it, however, wherever you will see it regularly, my definition of success is, and then fill in the blank. All right, now that you have your definition of career and your definition of success, you can actually begin to work towards what you want in the way you want it. And isn't that what this is all about? All right, I'm Evie Sanders, career coach for creative types, and I would love to hear your definitions. Email me, evs at evsanders.com. 